Sports Video Group is coming to you live from the 2016 NAB show. Brand Acosta reporting for SVG. It's always a pleasure to catch up with Phil Nelson, the Chief Relationship Officer of New Tech. Phil, how's it going, man? Great to see you. How you doing? Hanging in there, getting ready for an insane NAB. Yeah, it always is. But uh, you guys at New Tech have always done a fantastic job of breaking down the barriers to entry of content creation. You empower content creators. And now at this year's show, IP is obviously a significantly big topic that's being talked from hall to hall. So how are you guys helping get people more involved on the IP side? Well, New Tech has developed a technology called NDI, which stands for Network Device Interface. And it's a, it's a technology that we own but we're making it available for third-party developers to deploy for free. So all they have to do is sign up as an NDI developer and they can now be part of the NDI network. And, and what NDI is, is that it's an easy way to connect old and new devices mm -hmm. to an IP workflow. Um, and and it, it's part of the TriCaster, and we've been doing IP video for many, many years with the TriCaster, and now we're making it available to more um, third-party companies, people like Teradek and um, JVC, and, and uh, you know, we've got, you know, over, I think, 30 third-party developers developing technology using NDI. Um, one of the cool things that we're showing here at NAB, though, is called um, New, Tech's, uh, New Tech Connect Pro for, with NDI. Okay. And what that is, is it's a, it's a $1,000 um, piece of software that is a bridge for IP um, tr signal uh, transmission. Um, so it supports uh, the 1022 standard, it supports Aspen, but it allows you to bring all of these old and new devices and, 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 and content sources into an IP workflow okay. for a very, very low cost. That's awesome. They're really exciting stuff. I'm sure people are going to want to come by the booth and see it. Uh, as far as other products that you've got coming out of the show, uh, it was either last year or the year before when you first introduced Talk Show uh, at yeah. around this time. Uh, how are you guys expanding upon that? It's a pretty interesting uh, Skype interface that you guys have. You know, the Talk Show has been a very successful product. It's being used by people like Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, it's being used by... Uh, you know, television networks to bring in guests. It's being used on the Late Late Show. Um, even we did the the best time ever with Neil Patrick Harris, and we did a, a karaoke um, hidden camera segment where we had talk shows at the Mark's house and back in the studio, and the live band in New York playing while somebody finishes the song in you know Boise, Idaho. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, one of the things we've seen is there's demand to bring in more guests. Mm -hmm. And the current talk show that we had that we released last year could bring in one guest at a time. Okay. So here at NAB, we've actually created the Talk Show VS 4000, which retails for 79.95, but it allows you to bring in four talk uh, Skype guests at one time. And one of the great things about the Talk Show product is the fact that there are over 300 million Skype users worldwide. Yeah. And now you have access to all of those people as guests without any new infrastructure on the guest part. So, you know, for the price of under $8,000, you can have four high-def guests coming into your show from a single rack unit device. It's pretty spectacular. Yeah, I was telling you before off camera that I love that it puts zero onus on the guests that you're interviewing. All they right. have to do is literally power up their Skype that you said millions of people already have anyway. And just give them a few tips like don't sit in front of an open window <laughs> and, right, right. you know, you don't want to be backlit. You know, there's a few little things that can make a Skype interview look fantastic. Sure, yeah. And, uh, but you know, it really is. And, 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 and the talk Show will come into the TriCaster technology through NDI so you can bring those guests in without ha having to take up um, live video channels on your TriCaster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, at this show, at, at any of these shows, as your title says, Chief Relationship Officer, obviously a key time for you to really network and get more people involved in the new tag universe, if you will. Uh, so what are your goals as you're kind of going through the uh, convention center this week? Well, you know, my, my goals are always to look for new opportunities for industries that need new tech technology. And, you know, we are now one of the leaders in, in live production. I mean, there our clients are doing over a quarter million hours of video a month. You know, we've got 80 of the Fortune 100 companies using TriCaster. And, um, you know, you can't turn on, you know, you can't, you know, watch a sporting event now without seeing a TriCaster somewhere. Mm -hmm. So we're always just looking for new ways to help new people. In one of those growth areas or one of those new areas using the NDI technology is we've partnered with Adobe mm -hmm. to create a product called NDI for Adobe Creative Cloud. Okay. So if you have, it's a $99 app you can download. And if you use After Effects or Premiere, 
and you know if you have an NDI network set up that editor can now send content into their switcher live okay. without rendering anything they can just say connect you know I can actually go into my TriCaster and say I want to go to Premiere Edit 1 mm -hmm. and now that that content is now being fed in live yeah. It really is spectacular. It's only a $99 app so that you can actually, you know, drastically enhance your production workflow in a, vi in a, in a facility. That's great stuff. All right, Phil, we'll really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks yeah, a lot, and best of luck so with much. everything here in Vegas. Thanks for having me. All right, for more of Sports Video Group's coverage of the 2016 NAB show, you can visit us online at sportsvideo.org. You can find our NAB blog there and more interviews from some industry powers like Phil here.